Welcome to this tech tip showing how to view geometry selected as targets for specific machining cycles. This brief training tip includes several techniques for improving tool path regeneration. The techniques apply to both edge cam and surf cam workflow and can be used in milling, turning, and wire EDM applications. This part is machined in a 5-axis machining center. Let's temporarily turn off the display of the CNC machine and fixture and explore the cam setup. The process intent was to rough all the material possible using a larger milling cutter and then rest rough remaining material using a smaller tool. The feedback from the machine shop has asked that the pockets on the right end of the part be completely machined with the smaller 3 16 end mill, which means that we need to restrict the larger tool from these pockets. Let's begin the necessary toolpath modifications. We'll start by exploring which items the initial roughing cycle is targeted to machine. The simplest method is to work from the sequence window and expand the tree for the cycle to display the cycle inputs. Notice that we can left click one time on any item and see the cycle inputs displayed graphically. It is also possible to right click over the cycle and work through the picking tiles and see the same thing. However, my preference is to edit the cycles only when necessary in order to use the software as efficiently as possible. We also want to point out the text file command, which is available from the right-click menu. This command creates a text file which can list both modifiers, the cycle dialog inputs, and selections, the items selected as the targets to machine. This can be quite useful in some applications, particularly models with many features and possibly sketch geometry entities. Let's modify the initial roughing cycle so that the large end mill does not machine in the closed pockets. We can see currently it is going there. We'll make this modification by working directly from the sequence window instead of editing the cycle. This allows us to leverage the software's intelligent picking capability, which aids the cam user in several ways. One is display of current geometry selection, which we showed earlier. Others are that we can easily add to or subtract from the selection, and there's improved user control over toolpath regeneration when we work from the sequence window. I'm going to move over the item that I want to add to. I want to add to the things to be machined, and I'll double-click the left mouse button to directly edit the solids selected for the cycle inputs. Notice that the software retains the original entities, and I'll add the two caps over the pockets where we don't want this tool to machine. Caps are features automatically created by Feature Finder and associative to the solid, which can act as plugs to easily prevent the tool from machining in designated regions. Notice how the roughing cycle is now displayed in the sequence window with a special color. We also see a note in the top of the graphic display that says the cycle needs to be regenerated. When we hover the mouse over the roughing cycle in the list, the context-sensitive notification explains the reason for the highlight. The edits have been made, but notice that the cycle has not yet been regenerated. By way of comparison, if we had edited the roughing cycle, regeneration would have started immediately. EdgeCam's intelligent picking technology suspends regeneration until the user is ready to proceed. Regeneration can be done at a later time and in several ways. One is from the right-click menu, choosing the Regenerate command. Another is by using the Regenerate button that's at the top of the sequence window. My favorite is the Regenerate command, which provides a dialog with advanced user controls. In this case, I'll ask the software to regenerate only the dirty cycles. Notice that the software intelligently updates the edited cycle and also the rest roughing cycle that follows later because it's relational to the initial roughing toolpath. As a side note, the regenerate command can be added to the interface, which is explained in the M2 Technologies tech tip titled EdgeCam Workflow customizing the ribbon. Intelligent picking can save a significant amount of time, especially on parts containing many machining instructions.